Well, there's just something about South Korean cinema that you just don't get in American films. Let's review Parasite. Parasite stars Song Kang Ho, Lee Soon Kwon, Choi Woo Sik, and is directed by Bong Joon Ho. What is up guys? I'm kind of late to the game on this. Parasite is a South Korean film that uh, came out, uh, I want to say probably a month ago, something like that. It was in 2019 when it came out. Uh, and it did come to my theater, but for some reason I just never got around to seeing it. But I constantly would hear uh, great things about this movie. So I was always curious to see it and I finally went and saw it last night. And it left such an impression on me because I wasn't even going to review it. I just wanted to see the movie that I felt like I need to review it and I need to talk about it. Great movies like this only come along once in a blue moon and there's just something, like I said in the intro, about South Korean films. They just have a quality to them that you don't really see in American cinema. And don't get me wrong, there are so many amazing American films out there, of course, but like I said, there's just a quality to South Korean films that you just can't find anywhere else. Take for instance the movie The Wailing. That movie left such an impression on me and it was like I, I was able to see films from a different angle in a different way you know even just the way the camera is represented everything about South Korean films and of course the locations. I was actually stationed in Korea uh, South Korea for a year. Obviously I wouldn't be in North Korea that'd be pretty dangerous but yeah when I was in the military 2003 I was pretty much over there for a year Loved working with the very nice, very humble people of South Korea. And uh, it's, it's a memory that I will never forget for as long as I live. But, you know, going downtown off of the base, the, the homes that these people live in, it looks like the worst version of what you could find over here in the States. These people live in what we might call slums, and they don't see it that way. They still take pride in their living conditions. You could see that. You know, these are people that get up every day. They, they work their asses off from sunup to sundown. You know, they're very conditioned, focused people. But their living conditions are, you know, from our perspective, look pretty bad. And you get to see that in not only this film, but in South Korean films in general. And it really is kind of a big plot point in this. This movie really is about kind of the divide between the rich and the poor. So before we dive into this, let's give you a quick plot synopsis. You have this uh, family that live in the poor side of Korea. They're very intelligent. Uh, they've, they've owned and failed quite a few different businesses. And they're just trying to make a, make a living. They're just trying to get by. And so... The youngest son, he ends up getting proposition from this, this friend of his to go and tutor this young girl of this rich family. And so when he gets over there, he gets this idea that, hey, what if I could somehow get my whole family over here? And so one by one, he's able to, to have his family kind of infiltrate this, this rich family. <laughs> So basically all four of the family members, they have jobs working for this rich family. The rich family doesn't know that these people are related, which makes this really interesting. And one thing uh, about this movie is I didn't watch the trailer. I knew nothing about it going in. All I knew was the name Parasite. It sounded like it'd be a horror movie. And for... A good portion of this movie, you don't get a horror vibe whatsoever. And I, I think that's a good thing. It takes its time setting up the story, setting up the characters, and boy does it do a great job of setting up these characters. And of course, this is a South Korean film, so you're reading subtitles the whole time. And somebody like me who's new to Asian cinema, I might be a little intimidated by that, but you know, going into this movie within like five minutes, I'm already sucked into the story. The subtitles are not one issue whatsoever. And I'm just following along with these characters. And it's just ironic that I can watch American movies where I don't need to read anything and I could give a crap about any of the characters on screen. That is a testament of how great Bong Joon-ho's direction is in this movie. He actually did direct uh, an American film, Snowpiercer, uh, which is a film that I constantly hear 
people praising and you know it's like a cult uh classic and i've never even seen it so now after watching this movie this makes me want to go back and watch that but one thing i took from this movie is there is a just a big lesson as far as like telling a story this is a fully realized arc of a story from start to finish this is not going to be a spoiler review but i will say uh, it feels like a journey. By the end of the movie, it feels like this massive journey, kind of like what The Wailing was. The story is completely different than The Wailing. I will say like the first half of the movie, there are some actually funny moments throughout. It's almost like dark comedy, but you know, you just get a kick out of uh, these two families interacting with each other and how, you know, the poor family, they're always like one step ahead of the rich family. And there's even like this great scene where the rich family, they go on vacation. So the poor family, they're like taking advantage of that and all of them are just having a blast in this, this house. But as I'm watching this movie, I'm thinking like, okay, where's this thing gonna go? And I will just say, it gets dark. It gets really dark. And it's kind of a cause and effect type of film. And there's so many great lessons to be had in this movie. The father of the poor family, I really, enjoyed this character because there's a point in this movie where pride kind of takes over you know and he's working for this rich family and these aren't bad people at all very likable actually you know usually in these types of films the the rich family they're they're full of themselves they're egotistical uh you know and they can come off as rude and and be assholes but no these are very kind people but this this older gentleman it's, it's like a pride and an honor thing, and he just feels kind of ashamed of himself. And that's a harsh word to use, but he takes offense almost to the fact that this, this family, they're, they're wealthy. You know, he wishes he could have that. To me, I found that very relatable. I'm sure a lot of people see, even celebrities, and that jealousy factor takes over. You, you almost can't help it. You know, we want what they have. And there's a great lesson in this movie because the father, he's like telling his son, don't have a plan. You, you don't have to have a plan because when your life's this bad, it doesn't matter anyway. The moral of the story was, it's not a bad thing to have a plan. And I'm not going to go into any spoilers, but I will just say this movie is just so satisfying. And you just have this, you know, this just this like warmth over you after watching it. it and it stays with you. It, it will not leave your skull whatsoever. Now, I was talking about how there is like a dark side to this movie. Like the second half is very different from the first half of the movie. There are some twists for sure in the second half of this movie. And, and it takes you in places that you did not expect it to go, especially involving like the families and the house itself. But as a result, it turns into a nail biting thriller along the way, which was a nice surprise. You see how I'm being careful with this review, guys? I, I, and I'm doing that on purpose because this is a movie, it comes out at the end of this month on VOD, actually. And I want you guys to check this out if you haven't seen it, it because it's so good. And don't just go into it for the horror aspect of it, because there's really not that much horror in this movie. It's about characters, and, and it's really about the story. You just eat up every single scene in this movie. And it's, it's a big movie. It feels kind of long, and some people might see that as a con, I mean, even on like um, Killer Flicks, I posted about this movie and there was uh, one or two people st stating that it's the type of movie that they'd never want to watch again, even though they appreciated it. For me, I loved it so much, I'm actually looking forward to watching it again. Uh, because I feel like this is the type of movie too that you'll notice things the second time that you didn't really notice the first time. But yeah, guys, for a rating, Trapped on an Island for sure. Uh, really well done film. Bong Joon-ho is high on my radar now. Uh, just for his work in this movie. I definitely want to check out Snowpiercer now. And his direction in this film is just top-notch at every single level, from the camera work to the handling of the, the characters, the cinematography, just all across the gamut. This is just great filmmaking. So anyway, guys, that's my review for Parasite. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this movie. Uh, also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and Drum Dumb out.